Good morning, everybody. Welcome to day 16 of Advent. Hope you've been um, enjoying the journey so far. So let me just go ahead and jump right in. Um, Isaiah 9, 6. <clears throat> For to us a child is born, to us a child, a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. <clears throat> so the interesting thing in this verse is, um, it says he shall be called Everlasting Father, which you have to think about the fact that Jesus was never married, Jesus never had any kids. But yet he's given, in this prophecy, before he, he arrives, he's given this um name this this description that he's everlasting father that he is he's a father and yet you look at his life and he wasn't right um but then with well, when you go to john chapter 1 verse 1 through 3 it kind of ties it together it says in the beginning was the word and the word was with god and the word was god he was with god in the beginning through him all things were made without him nothing was made that has been made. And so that points to the fact that Jesus was a part of creation. Jesus was a part of, of the, the establishment of the earth and, and the birthing of humanity. Jesus was in that process, making him father, <laughs> making him the eternal father, making him a part of the, the Trinity, a part of the Godhead. And he was involved in the beginning, the creation of humanity. And so, you know, Jesus is here on the earth, walking, flesh, bone, man. And at the same time, he gets, he, Joseph is his stepfather, marries his mother. So in, in the earth, he has parents in the earth. But yet at the same time, he is the father of all creation. It's kind of like one of those paradoxes that kind of messes with your mind, like, here he is, but yet at the same time, he he made everything. The ground that he's walking on as he walks through the streets, he made that ground. The air that he's breathing, he made that air. Like the food that he's eating, he made the food. And the concept of, of seeing that he sustains all things. All things are in him. All things are created by him. All things were came forth from him. All things were established because he established them. And, you know, when we think about our natural families, we didn't choose our natural families. We were just born into them. We just showed up into them. And we're forever tied to our natural families, no matter what happens. Good relationships, bad relationships, doesn't really matter. We're forever tied to family. And I think this is a picture of showing that we're forever tied to God. Whatever the situation looks like, we're forever tied to God. Like he made us, he, he's our everlasting father. So if we have a great relationship with God or we have a terrible relationship with God, we're tied to him forever. Like he made us, he established us. And I think that's just an interesting thing to think about. Um, and sometimes we, especially in our culture and especially in the world, we mentioned this uh, on a previous advent, but just the concept of based on our performance, our relationships are, are, are affected by that. If we perform well, relationships are great. Perform, don't perform well, you get rejected or people treat you badly. And but in the concept of of God made us all, our relationships with God is forever permanent. He's forever creator. We are forever creature. We are forever made by Him. Um, and it just it just reminds us of the fact that our job is not necessarily to do. Our job is not necessarily to accomplish, but our job is to be. Our job is to to be who God created us to be. And so sometimes when we use those phrases and we talk about those things, we think it's about a purpose and we must accomplish something to become something, to have value, or that if I didn't fulfill my purpose, that's bad, or if I didn't do or accomplish something, then then that's bad. But in in the concept of we didn't make ourselves, he made us. So my job is not to do something to be valuable. My job is just to exist. My existence is a pointing back to the creator. My existence is a pointing back to the God who made me. It's a, it's a reflection of him. And so my job is not to perform well. My job is to be. It's to be who I am. It's to be who he's called me to be. It's to, it's to be who he's made me to be. It's to exist 
in the in in who I am supposed to be. So existing in my characteristics, in in existing in my personality, existing in my sense of humor, which some like and some don't like, <laughs> existing in 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 who I am. Just the, just my existence is a testament to God's creative ability and and who God's made me to be. And I think sometimes we get caught up in the rat race of trying to become of trying to to make ourselves do or accomplish something to to earn value and that's not true at all he's everlasting father we're everlasting child and that's our relationship with god that's our place in god um we don't get to to change that we don't get to um <clears throat> like alter that at all all we do is 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 we 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 receive we 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 just are we exist and so i want to encourage you today just be who you are culture society marketing whatever all this stuff might tell you you need to be something else you need to become something else you need to uh accomplish this goal you need to check this box you need this amount of money you need this amount of accomplishments and none of that actually really matters it may make us feel a little bit better for for a season or some kind of a uh, false sense of accomplishment but the truth is the moment that we can begin to realize we're valuable just for existing we're valuable just because we're here we're valuable because god made us then we can start to rest in the peace of who we are we can start to rest in the peace of how god created us we can start to 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 really see ourselves through the eyes of God like I am valuable every single human life has value because God made us we all have intrinsic value because we're made by God and sometimes we forget that and sometimes especially in the Christmas season the Christmas time we get busy trying to do things and and getting presents and going to Christmas stuff and Christmas parties and and just get caught up in the the race of it all and forget that he came to let us know you are loved. He came to let us know you are valuable because you exist. You're valuable because you're human. I made you. I'm the everlasting father. I made you and I came to encounter you. I came to remind you of my love. I came to show you how much you're loved. I came to show you how valuable you are. I came to remind you just for existing you're loved. Just for being here, I made you and you have immense value because you simply exist and i just want to remind you of that today you're valuable no matter what you feel like no matter what your circumstances says about you you are deeply valuable because god made you the one who made all creation was intentional in creating you was intentional in bringing you to the earth was intentional in putting you on the planet in 2023 that you are here on the planet during this moment during this season you have immense value and the fact that you're watching this video right now tells me that god just wants to remind you of your value in him not your value attached to accomplishments not your value attached to other people but your value attached to him he made you he created you he thought you were worth existing he thought you were worth being on the earth and he put you here in this time in this season of time in the existence of time because he thought you were worth existing so i just want to encourage you you are worth existing you matter you matter to god you matter to the people around you and you have immense value so just remember that all right let me go ahead and pray for you so father i just thank you for every person that's watching right now and lord i just thank you that you love us you care for us you show us your kindness and your love so father i, I ask that you would remind every heart that's watching that you have value in us that you value us not based on anything we do or accomplish but we have value because you made us and you placed us here you thought we are worth existing
So Father, right now, I just speak peace over every heart. I just speak a greater level of awareness to the value of who we are, the value of who you've made us to be. And Lord, every place where people are struggling with fear, rejection, or even uh, identity or any of those things, God, I speak peace over it right now. I speak your love over it right now. And Lord, let your love begin to rest. Let your love begin to fall like a warm blanket resting on people's hearts that are watching right now that they would know their love they would know that they're valuable. They would know they exist because you brought them into existence. So Father, I speak peace. I speak grace right now in Jesus' name. Amen. You guys have an amazing day and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Blessings.